Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Taurus. So if you're a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Taurus, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, if you are looking for a private reading, um, details of that are in, is in the description box below. This person could have uh, either had their options open or they were not very serious about you. They just strung you along, that sort of an energy. This person also could have been looking, in the past they were looking for something that was just fun, that was, um, you know, just some light-hearted energy, some fun moments, something like that. No, this person wasn't very serious. In short, they weren't serious. They weren't serious about commitment. They weren't serious about this connection with you. They just wanted something to, I heard, take their mind off of something. So it's very possible this person was already preoccupied with other things and you were just there around the corner and they just... Um... Some of you, you could have been married to this person because we literally have soul connections, life partner, and then we have wedding rings, union and marriage. This card also says marriage. So there are three um, cards here that talks about marriage. Also, we have beginnings. There's a strong uh, energy of a separation ending here and a new beginning. Well, if it only depends on you, do you want it or not? Because there's a possibility of a new beginning happening here. You could be working on some inner child issues right now. You're evolving, growing, going to the next phase of your uh, spiritual journey, of your journey in life. You have definitely tried, if not already have released the past. You are trying to release the past or you already have released the past. Um... Some of you, this person actually sees you right now as a soulmate. So they were just all fun and games and all of that thing and then take you seriously. And now that the separation has uh, happened, now that they can feel you releasing them, this person could also be feeling that uh, you are moving on from them. You're not interested in them anymore. You're putting an end to this connection. That's how this person might feel about the both of you or this relationship, this connection. The ending could have been very like tower moment, like sudden, uh, very dramatic tower moment and the five, not tower moment, the tower and the five of wands. That is, those are the cards I can see uh, when I'm thinking of the ending here. So it could have been a lot of uh, arguments, disagreements between the both of you, a lot of drama that happened. And the ending was pretty sudden. It was like almost out of nowhere, this just ended. Or you, like you decided to stop giving to this connection or this person uh, decided to stop giving to this connection, but it was all very sudden. Uh, one person, like in this connection, one person clearly didn't expect this sudden ending between the both of you. Like uh, one person was pretty much shocked. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't show this card here. Ah, this person is pretty obsessed with you. What on the deck? We have twin flames as well. So uh, we had soulmates and now we have twin flames mirroring. 
this person might want to catch up with you talk to you you know just the page of cups energy where this person comes in and just wants to communicate with you but they they do have something else in their mind but uh, this person feels like that's the only way they can actually um yeah look at that second chance reconciliation there's a strong new beginning reconciliation second chances here this could be a very strong connection that you felt with this person you both have evolved in a way uh, we, we are going to see with tarot how much this person has actually evolved or if they have evolved at all but there's this strong desire from this person's side to want this a new beginning with you to want judgment the judgment energy it's pretty strong here and the judgment exactly talks about second chances reconciliation well it does say making amends but yeah let's see let's see they, they are very obsessed with you i'm getting the devil energy from this card devil king of wands if this was the kind of person who was very sexually hooked to you hooked to your energy in the past because i did say right this person could be looking for fun and games you know some light-hearted energy but they never took you or took this connection seriously so if this that was yeah three of cups at the bottom of the deck i have pre-shuffled this deck and the three of cups talks about reunion uh, you could be dealing with a leo here you have strength Yeah, this person, this person is patient about it. And is that the emperor? Yes. Aries, Sagittarius, so you could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because we do have strength at the bottom of this deck, which is Leo energy. This is Sagittarius. This is Aries. A lot of fire sign. More than uh, dealing with, more than you dealing with a fire sign, this feels like this person's energy of, I really want this, you know, being fired up feeling that fire, feeling that passion towards you. We did have obsession, right? An obsession is a lot of passion. This person could be very addicted to your energy in the past and they're missing that energy. I saw the devil there. Yes. Bottom of the deck is the devil. And the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. The emperor showed up at both, like both the decks. We saw the emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. But this can also talk about that strong obsession this person has to you. Addictive. This could be a very stubborn person you are dealing with. Yeah, you could have been married to this person. But it was a toxic connection. Marriage, commitment, just a connection, relationship. Um, this was toxic. But I feel like you can see through that devil now. If you weren't able to see this devil in the past, this toxicity of this connection. Yeah, the devil, the bottom of the deck. If you couldn't see, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, which is another earth sign, your sister sign. But if in the past, in the beginning of this connection, you weren't able to see the toxicity of this person um, or the red flags, you missed the red flags or anything like that, you can now see things clearly. seven of swords knight of swords seven of swords queen of wands two of wands yeah that is that flighty energy this person in the past they were um let me talk about these cards first before i move to the next cards because i generally do my reading by pulling all the cards out and then i talk about it but i feel like i need to talk about it here 
So in the past, this person did give you a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, all of those things. It's also very possible this person was going through, as I, I did mention right at the beginning of the reading, this person was um, they were going through some sort of issues and it's very possible this person was going through some sort of ending, some anxiety and that is why I also mentioned lighthearted energy, right? This person wanted some fun because they were uh, going through a tough spot in life and they were just looking for some fun. They were just looking for some good time, if you know what I mean. Good time. You know what I mean, right? Especially with the queen of wands. That is a sexual energy. So... <laughs> I heard a good F, you know, I'm sorry about the dogs. This person also could have breadcrumbed you. Also look at the six of pentacles and two of pentacles. This is about this person having options, juggling you. I did mention at the beginning of the reading, this person could have uh, acted like they had all, already had options or they just treated you like an option, like you were nothing important to them. They, they, your role was nothing important in their life. You were just an option and you could be replaced anytime. Seven of Pentacles, sorry. Not Seven of Pentacles, this is Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is actually someone who's very, very sneaky. We do have the Six of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So you could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We already saw the Devil a couple of times. So yes, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But this person was a sneaky AF. They were sneaky. There was some sort of manipulation this person was doing. If not, they were outright going behind your back and, you know, hooking up with other people. It was just this person. Certainly, there was some manipulation they were doing. They were being very, very sneaky. Knight of Swords is also the uh, kind of uh, person or energy who makes tall promises. You know, someone who will promise this, that and everything. They will promise the sun, moon, the stars, everything to you. But when it comes to actually following through, the Knight of Swords is actually one of the most flightiest cards in the deck. It's very inconsiderate. It's very uncertain. It's very in and out, hot and cold. And it's, it totally goes with this someone making some false promises because they wanted a particular outcome with you. Uh, considering we do have the Queen of Wands also here, Queen of Wands is that passionate energy. Queen of Wands is again that sexual energy. So it's very possible that this person was uh, looking for some fun in the bedroom, that kind of energy just. And they were not uh, very open to something else. Like, you know, commitment, relationship for the future. Um, you could have just waited for this person for too long to do something about this connection. Look at that. We have the three of swords and three of wands and the bottom of the deck is five of cups. You really waited for this person to do something. Three, three here. Um, yeah, you waited. For, also, we have three cups spilled here, right? So three, three, three. You waited uh, for a long time for this person to do something about this connection. It's very, as I said, this person could have made some tall promises to you. So you were looking... For this person to actually fulfill these promises to actually walk the talk and not just talk the talk but this person just ended up making you wait for forever it's almost like you waited for forever and the more you waited for this person the more disappointed you got the more uh, heartbroken you were i i think that's the five of pentacles that i can see yeah the five of pentacles yeah this person five five and that is why you had to close this and the five of wands in reverse but i did mention the five of wands energy i got five 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 three 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 yeah this person you waited forever for this person to do something something about this connection anything at all like give you something and it's very possible this person was just giving you breadcrumbs and you just kept believing that no things are going to change you just kept kept waiting for this person to actually treat you properly to actually not juggle you or treat you like an option and give properly to this connection but it's almost like you waited forever and you just ended up with your heart broken and look at the disappointment and the abandonment they did to you this person just abandoned you they just neglected you left right center so you decided you had to let go of this. You let go of this five of wands. You let go of this drama. You had the realization. You had the epiphany. Judgment does, does talk about second chances. But more than second chances, it can talk about epiphanies, downloads happening. So you realized this is not worth it. You let go of this drama. Five of wands and upright is drama. You let go of this drama and said no more. 
So you close the chapter, you close the cycle with this person. I did mention at the beginning of the reading, one of you could have walked away um, from, like, I mentioned something like that, right? Walked away. I think I mentioned it. Um, so yeah, you, you had to walk away because they were breadcrumbing you, they were not treating you well. And how many times does one have to be disappointed? I mean, this is one of the shittiest energy someone can put you through, right? Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Three of Swords. This should, this is not worth it. No matter how much you love this person. Because uh, with the Three of Wands here, I get the feeling that you actually did care about this person. Love this person. And we just don't have the Five of Pentacles, Five of uh, Cups, Three of Swords. We also have the Nine of Swords. That's anxiety. That's depression. That's almost like overthinking. Remaining awake at night because you can't sleep. Because you're not at peace. Because you are feeling absolutely miserable and you are letting someone treat you like that. So you decided you had enough. I don't remember the order of the cards anymore. But yeah. Okay, that's, uh, that's so yeah. Eight of Wands. This is communication. And bottom of the deck, we have chariot, forward movement, and the moon. This is really. We talked so much about the Seven of Swords. It came out again. The sun. of swords the emperor all right Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, I'm keeping an eye on you, yeah, and Judgment at the bottom of the deck, with the Lovers, that's a very strong connection, we did have the Twin Flame card, right, yeah, Twin Flame card, and Lovers can talk about a Twin Flame connection, or a higher soulmate. You could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles. What of the deck is Moon, the Devil, the Chariot. Three major arcanas. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer. Capricorn, the devil is coming out. Like we saw it earlier as well. Okay. All right. So at the present moment, I'm going to clarify the Seven of Swords, actually. I don't like the fact that the Seven of Swords came out. We talked about the Seven of Swords in the past energy and the Seven of Swords coming out in the present energy. That is why I want to clarify it first, because this person really just want to communicate with you. It's very possible that this person is also losing sleep and feeling the anxiety, the anxious energy, because they know they want to, they 
they want to communicate with you they want this new beginning the sun talks about the sun is the happiest card of the deck so this person uh, really uh, you made them happy no matter how how however they treated you you made them happy knight of cups all right so this person wants you back they want you back because as i said you make them happy yeah they, they are seeing you as the in the present moment this person is actually seeing you as their wish fulfillment so uh, now they want you back because you are the wish fulfillment why won't they want you back want you back you made them happy you really put you really really gave to this person and this was a very selfish person you were dealing with a lot of selfishness also with that uh seven of swords here this person is strategizing about how to come towards you and how to offer you something this person actually is hoping that they can say the right things to you because swords are always thoughts and words or communication right air energy so communication so this person is actually thinking how to approach you and what exactly to tell you so that you they can sweep you off your feet that is the idea this person has it's very possible in the past this person uh, we did get the knight of swords energy right and the knight of swords as i said it's someone who makes tall promises when it what when it comes to following through they are not available this person might think that you are still going to fall for those tall promises you are still going to they still have a hold on you and they are going to be able to sweep you off your feet with the words they say to you they're very sure about that and this person will try sneaky techniques they are thinking of sneaky ways to come towards you this person is also heavily watching you they're watching you just to have an idea as to how exactly they should be approaching you what's the way what to say what exactly to say so you can be swept off your feet because they want to communicate they want to move forward they don't want to be stuck in the past energy of whatever happened yeah ten of cups you are the happiness you are the wish fulfillment nine of cups ten of cups they want this but then again this is not the ten of pentacles this is the ten of cups 22 22 so they want that happiness again they want to feel happy again Kids might be important. I don't know why I got that. Kids. Uh, for this person, that is, kids might be important. But I, I get the strong feeling that this person will come towards you and actually see you in this two of swords energy. Instead of you being, you being open and uh, vulnerable. I mean, come on, you have been disappointed so many times, right? So why won't you be in this two of swords energy? And they you this person if you were married to this person you could be thinking of uh, letting go of this connection altogether but they were married to this person or you were in a long-term commitment you could be actually thinking of letting go of this connection once and for all two of swords you are very very close you are very blocked you could have outright blocked this person and with the ten of wands in reverse this is you just letting go of the burden this this connection this relationship whatever it was commitment marriage this was very burdensome for you because you were the one who was giving to this person while, while this person was busy effing around so you definitely felt very overburdened by this connection because five of cups five of pentacles nine of swords three of swords that is a lot of pain heartbreak anxiety suffering why, why should you so you decided to let go of this and now you are completely closed up so no matter how much this person plans and thinks that they can come in and try to sweep you off your feet they are going to meet a very, very different different version of you which is going to surprise them they're going to be very very surprised by this new version of you because this new version of you that they are going to see wants justice and justice can see through this five of uh, swords and the devil energy the justice can't be fooled so whatever naiveness you had in the past you are not that naive anymore it's very possible 
this person's true intentions is actually to have that victory they want your attention ace of wands six of wands is someone who really really wants your attention by any means possible they need to have your attention because i heard attention deficiency this person is feeling like they are like attention deficiency that's what i heard so i want you to pour into their cup like the way you used to they want to pour they want you to pour into their cup the way you used to that's the, that's their desire they want you also the ace of wands let's let's be real here i'm going to clarify that first before i say anything because the ace of wands all by itself isn't that great of an energy yeah this person definitely wants to heal this they definitely want to heal this connection There's, there's heavy blockage here. You could have really blocked this person. Just outright blocked them. it's not as bad as it looks like with that king of cups this person does have uh feelings for you but those are hidden emotions almost the uh the yeah no the ace of wands i was actually trying to clarify the ace of wands so we have the king of cups and the ace of swords so this person actually wants that new beginning but they might come on to you as someone who's very hot passionate and someone who wants you for all the wrong reasons so as I said, uh, initially, if this was a very sexual kind of connection, you might end up thinking or feeling that this person just wants to sleep with me again. But this person does have feelings for you. King of Cups. We did have new beginnings and all those things, right? But yeah, the, and not to mention with that Ace of Wands, they are obsessed with you. So this person might feel like They are very sexually attracted to you and they're missing that part of this connection. The physical intimacy, they're missing it. Yeah, they really want to manifest. This true intention is to manifest. Look at that. Bottom of the deck is four of wands. They want to make you believe that they want to... I'm the nine of wands. You have blocked this person and they want you to believe that they have changed and they want you back because the ace of swords does talk about truth ace of wands ace of swords that does talk about truth so this person yes they want to communicate with you and tell you the truth it's just not a fiery passionate clothes coming off that sort of an energy it's also the truth the judgment does talk about second chances as i said at the beginning of the reading i did mention right i'm getting the judgment energy with the second chance and that judgment is here in the true intention so yes they do want a new beginning with you whether you want to believe it or not now it's very possible in the future you might just outright reject this person so all the pain or the disappointment they caused you when you reject this person they will feel that same sort of pain they will feel that same sort of disappointment. This person also feels very pessimistic about how things have gone between the both of you. Like, they're sort of on this edge of losing hope. They also feel a lot of guilt. They do have guilt. Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Swords in the mix and we already have the Ace of Swords here. It's going to dawn upon this person slowly or this person is going to have that epiphany that what I did to Taurus was not fair. I was manipulating Taurus. It wasn't fair. And the moment the truth hits him, that's when this person is going to go into this Eight of Swords energy of I feel very stuck. I feel very guilty. I feel like 
I, I feel disappointed in myself, which I know it's hard to believe that this person will ever think that they are disappointed in themselves, but this is how what this is going to happen with this person. With the emperor, it's very possible this person will pursue really, really hard. Or the emperor, this is the future energy, right? So it's very possible this person will want to pursue you very, very hard. Or it's also possible that you are going to hold your boundaries strong and you will not allow this person to come in. You will have that my way or highway sort of attitude, which I did mention, right? This person will be very surprised by your change, uh, like how you have changed. So this person might have never imagined you being in that emperor energy, but they are going to see you as this emperor energy. The emperor has very high standards because she, not she, he is the counterpart to the um, empress, right? So of course, the emperor is has high standards, he's high value. And do not go with the gender here. It's just an energy. The emperor is an energy. But the emperor is much more stubborn than the empress. The empress is because it's a very feminine, motherly energy. It's much more softer, but the emperor is a harsher energy. So this person will come in and feel that you are being very, very harsh. It's very possible you might end up saying some things to this person that is going to really hurt their fragile ego. Yeah, this person is overthinking everything. King of Swords in reverse. King of Swords upright is someone, it's, it's a good energy because the King of Swords upright is someone who's intuitive and who can use the logic. King of Swords in reverse, someone is who is losing their mind overthinking. All right. But we do have an item. Sorry for that shook the entire table 31 31 but with the knight of pentacles and a chariot this person actually will take action and funny enough on the chariot we do have the emperor sitting and we already have the emperor here that is why i said this was double confirmation that this person is actually going to pursue you very very hard they will be very determined very confident to pursue you it's a whole different thing you might reject this person but they will be and with the Knight of Pentacles, they are coming in very slowly because they want victory. Six of Wands. And yes, when this person comes in, you might... Look at that. And the tower is popping from here. That is the tower card. Two of Cups. This person probably will confess their feelings to you. Because we do have a lot of uh, the Oracle cards that I pulled out. Give me a minute. The oracles, Oracle cards that I pulled out at the beginning of the reading had like second chances reconciliation making amends right uh, it also had uh, promises so the tall promises this person made to you in the past they actually want to keep it and okay i did not notice this we have the two of cups and the ten of pentacles some of you this person might actually just come in with the offer of marriage they want to put a ring on it. They want to get married to you. I know that's very, I mean, considering how we started the reading, this is not something that I didn't expect at all. So yeah, when this person comes in with this offer of commitment, because we do have, look at that, I'm gonna show you. It's hard to pick up these cards. We have commitment, second chance, and this is just that. Right? So yes. But yeah, when this person comes in and tells you all of this, you might not believe this person at all. And you might be thinking, and that might end up into a huge argument between the both of you because you don't believe them. And with the Knight of Swords, you might feel like, because we did see the Knight of Swords in the past energy of this person, right? So you might feel like this person is still in the same energy and they haven't changed. I did say in the beginning of the reading that this person wants to make amends and I'm going to see through tarot if this person actually wants to make amends or if they have actually changed. But what do you know? They have. All right. And this, uh, this communication might come out of nowhere. You, you might have already given up hope completely regarding this connection, regarding this person that is letting go. Uh, the moment you give up hope, that's you letting go completely. So you're going to pull them back in. 
So it's going to be very unexpected. Also, we do have the sun and the moon, which is counterpart energy. And we did have twin flames. The lovers, we saw the lovers as well. We also have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. And the two of cups. Four of wands. These are all very positive cards. Four of wands, two of cups, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Very positive outcome. All right, Taurus. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.